myself Ankita Tiwari from NG Institute of Engineering and Technology from ITICD department. I am going to take a session from the module 4 that is A to B converters and D to A converters. The session we are going to cover the topic is digital to analog converters. So in this module we are having two types of converters that is A to D that is analog to digital and the second one is digital to analog. So in this session we are going to have the topic as digital to analog converters. We are already knowing what is a digital value, what is an analog value. Now this digital and analog refers to the signals which we are providing as an input to the system and we are getting output from the system in the form of signals itself. It can be either analog, it can be either digital. So here we are going to have the brief study about the conversion. Okay, so here if I'm talking about digital, now we are already knowing digital means 0101 value that is binary, that is also known as machine language. Now when I'm talking about digital value, the input is in the form of digital, that is with the base 2, that is binary. Now if I'm talking about input, so here the signal will be in the form of values. So here it can be 2 bit value, 3 bit value, 4 bit value, that depends on the input. Uh, value which is you are providing it. it. It is having some number of bits. So that bits is been defined with the terms of binary. Okay. So here when I'm talking about D2A converters, it is actually the BCD code. We can say that binary code which is in the form of voltage or current which is proportional to the digital value. Now the figure here which I'm showing here in the system is that is in the form of input and we are having some form of output. If I'm talking about a D to A converters, here I have taken an example of 4 bit. That means the input which is provided is 4 bit and we are getting an analog signal because here D to A converter. So we will get the output as waveforms in the form of analog. Okay, so here the 4 bit which is provided here I have taken like A, B, C and D. Now whenever we are putting values in the form of binary. Its weighted starts from LSD or LSB to LSD. That is least significant bit to more significant bit. Now the bits in the middle of LSB and MSB are the intermediate bits which will have weightage in terms of binary. Binary means with the base 2 and the value will be divided in the 4 bit format. And that will be provided into this system. We can have other types of converter as well. Here we have shown as a 4 bit, we can have a 5 bit, we can have a 6 bit. So anything, any bit can be as an input and we can get analog input as a signal. Okay. Now when we are talking about types, then we are having total two types of D to A converter. That is first is weighted resist resistor converter and the second is R to our ladder converter. Okay. Now in this session, we are going to cover only the first one that is weighted resistor converter in depth. Okay. Starting with the first one, weighted resistor converter. I am talking about D to A converter. That means we are providing input in the form of digital value in the form of base 2. Now when we are talking about weighted, weighted, this word has come because the input is in the form of digital. So here the value will be taken with the form of weightage. Weightage in binary is provided with the help of LSB to MSB out. So 2 raised to 0, then the weightage increases by 1, that is 2 raised to 1. Then the weightage increases by 1, 2 raised to 2. Then the weightage increases. So this continues depending on the number of bits which you are taking as a, into the consideration and you are providing as a input. So here a weighted uh, resistor DSC produces an analog output which is almost equal to the digital that is input by using binary weighted resistors in inverting adder circuit. So here adder is provided in order to add the resistor value as a one as an input and we are getting one as an output. So here uh, in short, we can say that a binary weighted resistor is called as weighted 
resistor D S. Okay, so a binary is converted in the form of signals, that is waveforms. So here, if I am talking about the circuit, we need to have one example of it, one circuit of it. So here, three with binary uh, weighted resistor D S is being taken as an example, and you can see here we are providing here three value, three bit value. So here. The first value which is taken as 2 raised to 0 R, first resistor R. Then the value increases by 1. So 2 raised to 1 R. Then the value increases by 1, that is 2 raised to 2 R. So here 3 input, 3 bit input of resistor value is being taken as a 3 bit binary weighted resistor is taken. Now this is provided with respect to voltage. So here negative voltage is being taken. We are, have, we are having two types of voltages which is available in any of the circuit that is positive and negative. So here the consideration of reference voltage is taken negative value. So positive value is taken as a ground. It is grounded and it is not taken into consideration. Negative value voltage is being applied RF in the form of RF and it is given in the circuit. Now this circuit is having a bit value and with respect to that we get one bit that is D0, D1 and D2 as the output and now these bits bits will be converted into waveforms, which we will get as analog. Okay, so with respect to this, we know, we have to know some points. We need to have the uh, actual working. So how the, the value is being taken? So here, the bits of the binary number can only have one of the two values, either zero or either one, because it's digital. It's zero or it can be one. Now, suppose we are taking a consideration of 3 bit. So, we will get 3 bit value as D0, D1, and D2. Now, here the bits D2 and B0, okay, we are already knowing LSB and MSB. So, here we need to uh, bifurcate the two of the bits, that is B0 and B2, which will denote the most significant bit as B2 and the least significant bit as B0, respectively. Okay. Now moving forward, the digital switches, which is shown in the figure, will be connected to ground. Now we know that we, are, we can take only one voltage, reference voltage at a particular time. It can be positive or it can be negative. So here we have taken negative value as a consideration. So positive will be taken to the ground. It is switched to the ground. And we have taken reference voltage as a negative, which is equal to 1 when we are taking it. Now, Whenever we are seeing the circuit, we know that the non-inverting input terminal of an that is amplifier is connected to the ground, which is means that zero voltage is applied to the non-inverting terminal, which we doesn't want to do the circuit. Now, according to the virtual short concept, we can say that the voltage of the inverting input terminal of the amplifier is same as the voltage which is present at its non-inverting input terminal. And so the voltage of the input, input terminal node will be zero. Because if I am comparing both the values at the same time, it will be zero. Positive and negative value will become zero. So now the, we will get a standard equation for it because we are having different bits. And when we are providing resistor value at each and every bit, we need to multiply it. And we need to divide with the reference voltage. So here, the equation that we will get as a nodal equation is that is Br B2 plus your voltage of the net positive value. Now here it is taken as zero. So zero plus Br B2 upon your weightage. Now when we are talking about the zeroth value, that time the weightage of binary will be 2 raised to zero into resistor value that is R. Plus when we are moving forward, we will go for the first bit one position. So for that, 0 plus we are B1 upon 2 is to 1. Why we are taking 2 is to 1? Because we have increased one value with LSD1. So here 2 is to 1 into resistor R plus if I am taking another bit, that is the third bit, that is B R B0 upon 2 is to 2 into R because we have stepped one more forward. Three bits were there. So three positions. Okay. Now if we are counting this value, we are, uh, if we are taking this value into consideration with the negative voltage, which is equal to zero, because it is zero, positive, negative, it is zero. So we have assumed that that value is zero. Now, when we are solving this equation, 
we will get V0 upon Rf, which is equal to the V3 equation that we got here right now. That is V2, V1, and V0. So standard equation, when we are taking a common out of it, we will get Vr, which is common, reference voltage. Rf, which we have taken as a negative charged value, upon R, because resistor value will be common in of the three of the bits. So R will be taken as a common. And we will get the standard equation as V2 upon V0 plus V1 upon 2 raised to 1 plus V0 upon 2 raised to 2. This is our V0 value which we will get. And we need to calculate in the initial stage. Okay, depending on this, whenever uh, we are taking the weighted resistor DAC, we need to know that the resistor R which is taken is two times your reference voltage. That, that is the standard constitute that it is taken into the whole circuit. Whenever we are designing a circuit, this thing is fixed. That is R, the resistor value is the two times of the reference voltage. So here R is equals to 2RF, which we will put in the above equation that we got right now. And we will get as V0, which is equal to VR upon R. Uh, VR upon uh, R, which, which it was there. So here 2RF, we are putting it at the R position. So RF, RF value will be cancelled and we will get VR upon and the V0, V2, and V1 part that will remain as it is. Because we are just, we are just substituting it, and the thing which is common, it has been cancelled, and we'll get the final answer. Now, this was about weighted resistor, final voltage that we need to find it out initial, initially when we are designing the circuit of any 2 bit, 3 bit, 4 bit, any of the circuit. Okay. Now, we are when we are talking about the circuit, we need to have the advantages and disadvantages. So here, the disadvantages of the weighted resistor DAC is the difference between the resistance values corresponding to which LSB and MSB will increase. Why it will increase? When the intermediate numbers, if, if it will, the number of bits will increase, but of course the LSB and MSB difference will increase more. And that we need to handle it more whenever we are doing the calculations. So that is the very big disadvantage of it. And it is difficult to design more accurate resistors as the number of bits present in the digital input increases. Accurate value, precision values will not get as the number of bits will increase. So these are the two disadvantages of the weighted resistor D2A converters. Now, the third disadvantage and the most main disadvantage of this is the different valued precision resistors must be used because resistor we have taken as a common value, but the number of bits as you are taking for V0, then V1, then V2, then you are multiplying it, the value will, but of course, change. So, we, with respect to resistor, we will get many numbers in middle. So that also is a very big thing that we need to uh, take into consideration whenever we are designing the circuit and we will get a very large amount of information or the data that we need to calculate more. So this is what the disadvantage or, or we can say that main disadvantage of this uh, system is. And finally, in this, we can say that the summary I have provided here because you need to understand Whenever we are talking about the converter, we need to know the flow of it. Now, what is the flow? What I was talking about was initially digital value is provided. But we cannot get digital value as an input directly. We need to have some source in the form of signal, in the form of input as a voice. That will be converted to digital, and this digital value will be converted to analog. So here we need to understand that input will be always analog only that is in the form of waveforms for that to convert into digital we need to have adc that we have already done before this converter that is adc is analog to digital converter now this converter will convert your analog signal your waveforms into dsc that is discrete value that is 0 and 0 now your system will have discrete values that is binary and then it is not a human readable language it is a machine language that is understood by machine but we need to understand it so what a machine is understanding by our input so this is what digital as you can see that is 0101 square waveform which is provided here 
Now, that, now I am talking about the thing that we have done in this lecture, which was DAC. That was digital input, and we are getting analog output. So here, digital is taken here with respect to this input it itself. Now filter is provided. Now this filter is what when you are taking a square waveform and you are converting into waves structure, smooth structure. So here filtration is provided. Filter means that will convert your structure into smooth waveform. DSC will convert the value in the analog signal itself, but will be in the form of value only. But we need to convert that value in the form of waveform in a smooth structure. So for that one filter is also provided in order to convert this value into analog. So, so just see the uh, thing, input was analog, the output is also analog. Just see here. Okay, so this is what the uh, thing is that we need to understand. Okay, and based on this only, the two of the converters are fixed. So we have done the two types of uh, converters and now in this TAC we have completed the first one converter in the next session we will be doing the second uh, converter.